Welcome back to the Workshop Dojo Now. Today I'm going to tell you about a tool that I, I only recently found this tool probably about two years ago. I, I'd, I'd heard of this, this mystical tool that could be used to do all kinds of things and it was called a multi-tool and I'd never ever seen one really. I'd kind of vaguely see people messing about with something or other, but I'd, I'd, I'd never really seen it close up. And I found it and I wish that I had had this tool years ago. It would have helped me so much. It would have got me out of so much trouble. And I can categorically say that this tool is my absolute most used and favorite tool in my whole collection. Now, we are talking about, of course, the Festool multi-tool. Oh my God, this is, this is, uh, this is absolutely fabulous. Uh, this is the cordless version. Um, you know, this is one of the tools that <clears throat> when you have one, you, 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 you think to yourself how you ever managed before you, before you got it, because it can deal with basically everything, okay? You've got a situation where you can't use another tool, the multi-tool will do its job. If you want to try to squeeze into an area where you can't quite get in with any other tool, the multi-tool will do the job. And it is, it is the true MacGyver of tools. It really is. Now, let's get on to the Festool, the Festool. I mean, there are other companies that make multi-tools. I mean, obviously multi-tool is, is, is such a fabulous idea that of course all the tool manufacturers obviously have decided to make one. Initially, the multi-tools obviously were corded like everything, but, the cord, but a cordless multi-tool is really where it gets its power because you need to squeeze into spaces and squeeze into areas where you couldn't really get into and you don't really want a cord hanging out the back. Now, as far as the Festool is concerned, Festool have now taken this multi-tool a bit further, you know, um, and they've actually made this, this connect with all kinds of, of, of uh, um, uh, all kinds of add-ons, you know, there's like a plunge cutter. Again, ooh, again, great idea, you know. I have so many of the, I, I, you know what, when I got this multi-tool, I, I lost my, flip, you know, I lost my flipping mind, I really did. I started to buy um, every single blade. I've got blades, I've got sanders, I've got everything to do with the multi-tool. I've got, you know, I've got blades that are designed to, to, uh, to cut into metal, like a nail, you know, like you've got a nail sticking up, okay, like, and you want to use the multi-tool to cut it off, there's a blade for that. 
There's a blade just about for everything. There's like an attachment for everything. I'll tell you what I used it for the other day. I used it to, uh, to cut out tiles. You ever try to cut tiles out? Okay, you end up like uh, ripping out all the other tiles behind it. You can get a blade that cuts into the grouting around the side. So you slice into it and then you can actually just slice the tile out. Absolutely fantastic idea. Anyway, Festool, <clears throat> in their innovation, have got all of these add-ons and these bits and pieces that go along with the tool. Of course, once again, um, a high priority based on the, on, on, on the dust extraction. Again, the, the dust extraction is really designed really to, you know, to help you. But I mean, to be honest with you, um, even if you don't get all of the add-ons, I mean, I think this comes, I, th I think it comes separately. So you can get the, the, the bear tool, plus you can get the add-ons if you want to. <clears throat> I mean, either way, um, I would certainly recommend you getting the add-ons because the add-ons will help you. Rem remember, this is kind of a tool to get you out of problems. And you really want as much bits and pieces that will help you to get you out of those problems as you possibly can. So I, I would certainly recommend to go ahead and get all the add-ons that come with the multi-tool. But even if you don't, <clears throat> you need to get yourself a multi-tool. I mean, it's, it's again, you know, cutting pipe work, cutting this, cutting that, squeezing into areas. You want to cut a little square in underneath a cabinet, kitchen cabinet, because you're running the pipe through. This will do the job. It really does do everything that you need it to do. I mean, I've just got nothing bad whatsoever to say about it. It just so happens this is Festool, but to be honest with you, you know, if you can't afford to buy Festool, I would say just go ahead and just buy a cheap multi-tool and just start using it because you will not regret it, trust me. Okay, in conclusion, <clears throat> the Festool Multi-Tool, I mean, it is without a doubt my absolute favorite tool. I love it. It's probably the only tool that I have here that isn't clean. I mean, if you look inside the box, there's dust and there's all stuff all over it. And it's because I flipping well use this all of the time. I really do. You know, I never get a chance to clean it because I'm just using it. So, you know, in conclusion, absolutely get yourself, a, a, you know, like a multi-tool. You want the best, then go for Festool. I mean, without a doubt, I mean, the Festool is, is lovely. Be aware though, the Festool only takes a Starlock, you know, keep in mind the Starlock blades are actually more expensive. It's just the way that it connects. It just means that it's just kind of more solid. So just keep that in mind, you know, you are going to be paying a premium for the blades, but you know, you want the best, you're going to have to pay for it. Anyway, that's it 
for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next Workshop Dojo video. Take care.